Two women in Benton County forced their way into a home looking for their missing friend only to find her dead. Also in Texas, seven people were killed this morning in Brownsville, and it appears the driver may have intentionally ran them over. Water rescue crews had the help of 40 extra people as they continued to battle debris and water levels. A 13 year old is in serious condition after she was thrown off an ATV in Phelps County last night. Law enforcement arrested a Lebanon man for trying to set a house on fire after burglarizing it earlier this month. The Friday night storm leaves behind untold destruction after it leveled houses, uprooted trees, and destroyed infrastructure. Jamie, it doesn't sound like anybody got hurt during this no. tornado, but I know obviously we have some storm chances around our area tonight and then pretty much the rest of the week, right? Yeah, yeah. And you just got to remember that it's a calf at yeah. the end of the day, yeah. and they're so cute. And hopefully it doesn't get carved either. Oh <laughs> my God, Chris! <laughs> we had kind of a weird weather day. You know, we started out very sunny. I actually... My pool opened up at my apartment. So oh, yeah. I, yeah, I went to the pool. It was very <laughs> yeah. hot out. And then all of a sudden, I just heard this like tapping at the station. I was like, what is that? It was the hail in Springfield. And he caused quite the standstill for traffic. <laughs> I mean, I'd stop and be like, oh my goodness, what's this guy doing in the road? <laughs> Severe weather swept through the Ozarks today, producing large hail and damaging winds. Thanks for joining us here tonight on Color 10 at 10. I'm Sydney Moran. This picture is from a viewer in Flemington, just north of Bolivar, and the hail looks to be about the size of a baseball. Bolivar Emergency Management confirmed pea and dime sized hail in city limits. And this picture here is from Urbana. This shows what looks to be tennis ball sized hail. But here in Springfield, we didn't quite see that. This is video of what looks to be marble-sized hail coming down in the Roundtree neighborhood and other places around town finding quarter-sized hail like near West Bypass and Mount Vernon Street. And the good news is it's looking like we are in the clear for the rest of the night. Meteorologist Tom Schmidt is here with a first look at our forecast. Tom. Nixa PD is looking for four suspects who vandalized a brand new park just weeks before the grand opening. Around the region, Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City is suing Attorney General Andrew Bailey over his burdensome requests on gender affirming care. In a lawsuit, the hospital says the AG sent 54 investigative demands despite no allegations of wrongdoing. It goes on to say Bailey demanded the hospital provide records on any prescriptions for hormone blockers as well as surgeries for transgender patients. Funeral services took place today for one of the two Missouri soldiers killed in the Kentucky Black Hawk helicopter crash last month. Chief Warrant Officer Rustin Smith grew up in St. James. He was an instructor pilot for the U.S. Army 101st Airborne Division. Fellow service members buried Smith with full military honors at the Missouri Veterans Cemetery at Fort Leonard Wood. Funeral services for Chief Warrant Officer Zachary Esperanza are Monday in South St. Louis County. Around America, today marks 10 years since the Boston Marathon bombings that killed three people and hurt almost 300 others. The city commemorated the day with ceremonies and a day of service. Victims' family members attended a private wreath-laying ceremony at the two spots where those bombs went off. Military and intelligence experts are still assessing the fallout from a major leak of Pentagon secrets. Jack Texera was charged Friday in the U.S. District Court in Boston. The Massachusetts Air National Guardsman is accused of unauthorized removal and retention of classified and national defense information that was posted on social media. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavides has more from Miami. As we head to break, here's a live look outside Springfield. We started the day off with sun, then had severe weather hit with hail and damaging winds. And now it's looking like a calm but chilly night. Coming up, Tom Schmidt has your full forecast. Stay with us.